friends let's learn the branches of the internal carotid artery using a very interesting story that involves the superheroes excited right let's proceed we have covered the topic of external carotid artery in our previous video we'll share the link in the description below today the story is titled vvn and a chip to the superheroes first part of our video will involve the story narration in the second part we will see how the story is connected to our topic in the third part we will have a recap slide of the story and in the last part i will be covering some very interesting facts about the internal carotid artery so keep watching the video till the end let's begin the story my friend vivian designed a very unique chip that can be implanted in the eyes of superheroes for information exchange and communication between them vivian invited me for his birthday party along with the superheroes wow the superheroes partying with them is a dream come true for me i met superman and men in black in the parlor which i visited to get my special facial done with hippo's milk near the bakery i saw ant man in the middle of zebra line crossing the road ant man and i ordered for choco cake and carrot pancake for vivian's birthday the bakery was well known internationally for its delicious carrot pancakes now let's connect the story with the branches of the internal carotid artery international and carrot cake helps us relate to the topic of internal carotid artery vvn used in the story is for the first artery which is called as the median artery i for ophthalmic artery information for inferolateral trunk communication for the next artery called posterior communicating artery superman for superior hippo for hypo facial for facial combining these three terms we get the next artery called as the superior hypofacial artery likewise menin is for meningo using it with two of the previous terms we can remember the artery called as the meningo hypofacial artery with the word antmen we can relate to the anterior part word zebra rhymes with cerebra using antmen and zebra we get the artery called anterior cerebral artery word middle used along with zebra can be used to remember the middle cerebral artery antmen and choco used in the story is to remember the artery called as the anterior choroidal artery carrot for caretico pan for panic further the term panic rhymes with tympanic combining the terms carotico and tympanic we get the last artery which is called as the carotico tympanic artery a recap of the story is here friends time to learn some very interesting facts internal carotid arises from the common carotid artery opposite to the disc between c3 and c4 vertebra at its commencement the artery dilates to form the carotid sinus which acts as the baroreceptor internal carotid artery does not provide any branches in the neck it supplies the hypophysis orbit and major part of our brain internal carotid artery above the cavernous sinus forms a loop called as the carotid siphon that dampens the pulsation of the artery and maintains a regular flow to the brain the superior hypophysial arteries supply the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland via the capillary plexus to form what is called as the hypophysial portal system which conveys releasing hormones from the hypothalamus to the pituitary gland internal carotid artery occlusion increases the future risk of cerebral strokes 
friends thanks a lot for watching this video do subscribe our channel med through story and press the bell icon let's simplify and learn medicine with fun share this video among friends and medical groups